Hey everyone, it's Michael, and today I will tell you how our supercharged end-to-end -end testing framework, Concept.js, solves the most annoying feature of JavaScript, asynchronity. Ouch! It's really the biggest, biggest issue in JavaScript. For everything else, JavaScript is very simple and very basic language. But when you just want to ask it, to do things exactly like they are written, like please open me a page, fill a field, click some links, check some options, and then check that there is a, a, a text on the side, you find out that doing so is a very complicated problem. Because every call to this um, uh, call in this uh, uh, file is actually asynchronous and it means that uh, the browser won't be uh, able to execute these commands one by one but in, instead it uh, takes these commands as, as a queue and uh, then just say, says to you, pl okay please wait and at one moment I will notify you when all those commands are finished. So. Um, in pure JavaScript, you would uh, synchronize uh, your work with callbacks, with promises, or with async await uh, uh, functions. So, uh, usually, if you would write such test in another framework, not Concept.js, you will need to add await to every operation that uh, requires you some browser control. And definitely, that's any operation we do here in our test, because yeah, we do browser testing. So why does Concept.js behaves differently? And not asking you for to wrap everything in async await. And here is uh, the main reason for doing so, because Concept.js started much longer before the async await paradigm was introduced into testing, uh, into uh, Node.js. So async await wasn't not available in Node.js when we started. So, uh, at that moment, all tests were written like this. We used promises and uh, probably tests would look like this. Sorry, I felt filled. If we would uh, write the same test in years ago and maybe in another framework. So we, we should uh, have used the chains and uh, use promises to group all the steps together. And that is how uh, we solved the uh, asynchronous uh, issues. However, in Concept.js from the beginning, we decided to work it a bit differently. We decided to uh, handle this on our side. So uh, instead of chaining asking a users to change those commands to track the, th these promises, we created our own um, uh, way uh, to handle uh, promises on the global level. So let's take a look at the ve very important part of Concept.js and now I'm uh, showing you the Concept.js repository. This is the recorder.js file in lib folder, uh, which does um, the most important thing, it synchronizes all the callbacks, all the promises, all the browser calls happens in a test into one promise chain. Uh, in Protractor.js, if you used to know it, the same uh, pattern is called con control flow. We call it recorder. So it actually records promises and then executes them one by one. So again, switching to our test, when I call M on page, it doesn't execute this command immediately. It uh, creates a promise and sends this promise to recorder. When I execute another command, fill field, it transforms this um, to a promise as well, adds it to a recorder and it's re a recorder's business to uh, synchronize all those promises. So we execute this command add and this command adds a promise to a chain. So we create a group of uh, uh, commands like command one, uh, command two, um, uh, command three, and uh, so so on and so on. And 
Uh, then we uh, open a browser and throw all these commands to a browser. So bro browser executes them and uh, on, uh, we don't have a control about, uh, about these executed co commands anymore. So we are absolutely desynchronized from this, the browser. And w uh, it's fine until we need to take some information from a browser. And it's this very moment we really need to use async await functionality and we use it for commands called grabbers so uh, to get some value from from a, a web browser i use the com command i grab i know maybe i grab text from um like the checkout element so uh, we ex executed this set of commands in a browser and then with await we said hey hey browser please wait for the, all the previous commands to finish then uh, i will take this from the checkout and with await we pause execution and saying okay then please wait for the next commands we will send to you and here are the next commands so we in concept.js use async await only when we need to uh, interact with the browser, take some information from it. And if your test is exactly uh, about executing the set of actions and not dynamically transforming to something that happens in a browser, you can use it without async await because Recorder synchronizes everything for you. And uh, here is another cool thing about Recorder that because we uh, everything happens in a prom uh, every set of commands are promises, we can easily retry those promises. On, uh, uh, so if some command was uh, has failed, we can easily retry this this command. So this is uh, we use to deal with flakiness. So probably you know that we use we have this retry uh, meta command that can be used with a click. But uh, for some retries, you don't even see them because maybe you use retry failed step plugin. So the retry failed step plugin is very basic because um, recorder al already knows what commands are to be executed. And uh, when some promise uh, fails with a rejection, it can easily re repeat it once again a few times. Maybe the page wasn't loaded uh, in completely or uh, some some requests uh, didn't finish and we need to wait a bit more that happens pretty much in web testing and recorder can automatically retry the last failed step for you so you see it really uh, have methods to do so so um, if you execute concept.js tests with uh, um, verbose mode, you will probably see uh, all those uh, uh, mm, uh, promises recorded into the reco with the recorder. So uh, actually a recorder is also very um, um, powerful beca because it can uh, take, uh, can handle some command like pause. It's uh, so um, pause is very uh, mm, complicated command because it actually um, sends the uh, commands for, uh, to a browser and allows the dynamic control. So, so, so sorry, pause. Um, so, uh, if if you would like to uh, see how the pause actually works, it's located here in the. And uh, you see how uh, how it uh, handles execution. Then with the recorder, we start another um, uh, where it is uh, uh, another chain of promises. We use recorder session start, and then we record a new set of promises which doesn't intersect with our test. So we can send the commands. Uh, back to the browser without interfering with with our current test, and this is the how pause works. 
So it's a big trick and complicated uh, to understand and start. Uh, but um, when you uh, understand the uh, asynchronity and the promises fully, you can uh, easily create um, uh, uh, your solutions on top of it. So uh, basically, uh, what we do in Concept GSS, we just hiding this complexity about promises, asynchronity, and recorder takes all the dirty works. However, you may deal with the promises when you write your helpers. So uh, if you have a helper like this one, you should have uh, all methods in a helper to return a promise. So this promise can be taken, added to record and be synchronized. So uh, be aware of promises when you use async await, because if you didn't, uh, if you forget to use await here, or you were using the page object with async await function and you forgot to use await func await here, or you use the within function uh, with within with async function um, with uh, async. Uh, function and uh, you are wondering why uh, this within doesn't return any value probably because you forgot to add await so uh, let's transform our code to use async await and within so I grab text checkout here um, I will use it within checkout I grab text from input and I expect value to be here. So I need to use await. Um, uh, I need, I can actually use a, a return then uh, and then within will return me a value which I can use further. So if you uh, use some async await function inside your page objects or within functions, use await to synchronize all those promises. Everything else is taken uh, um, by a recorder and this is how a things work. So usually you don't need to use async await or just in cases where you want to pause your execution for all other cases, Concept.js is taking it by its own and it synchronizes promises for you. So if you didn't um, Try Concept.js, try it today. If you uh, have some issues with promises, I think uh, we solved like 95% of all issues you may have. But try to figure out where you may have forgot the async await, uh, where do you interact with browser and want it to return some values, and uh, use async await to synchronize this code uh, when you feel it doesn't behave the, the way you want it to. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again.